Hello everybody, Steph Davis here from FlipThisWholesaler.net. I'm here today with a brand new Q&A Friday video for you guys. My question this week comes from Allison, and Allison's email reads, uh, this is kind of a long email, so bear with me here. Uh, it says, hello, Steph. I just discovered what wholesaling was a few months ago, and while, while I am desperate to escape the 9 to 5 grind and a job that I absolutely can't stand, I'm still not entirely sold on whether or not I should go for it. For starters, I am in an extremely competitive market, and it seems like there are wholesalers everywhere. Is it even possible to get a deal with so much competition everywhere? Also, I've heard from several news sources that another housing bubble is happening and that another crash is coming. If that's the case, is it even possible to make money as a wholesaler in a down market? And last but not least, can you really complete a wholesale deal using a very small earnest money deposit? I'm currently living paycheck to paycheck, and I don't have a lot of extra cash to work with. It seems like the cards are stacked against me, and I'm wondering if I should even bother. Any thoughts or advice would be greatly appreciated. Thank you, Allison. All right, so I wanted to share this um, email with you guys, and I did ask Allison if it was okay to um, to share this, and she said, yes, that's fine. Um, I wanted to share it with you guys because I know there are a lot of people who watch these videos who have not got started yet, or they're thinking about getting started, but they have all of these what-ifs. Uh, what if the market crashes? What if I can't get a deal? What if there's too much competition? And I did the exact same thing. I had the exact same processes when I was just getting started. I pretty much looked for every single reason why this wouldn't work, why wholesaling wouldn't work, instead of focusing on um, you know, what would happen to my life if and when it did work and I did start uh, closing deals. So I basically what if myself uh, for a very long time before I finally just jumped in and started making things happen. So um, I'm just going to kind of go through these um, questions that are concerns that Allison has about wholesaling. The first one is that um, she says she's in a very competitive market and I'm actually not sure what market she's in. But she's wondering, you know, are there enough deals to go around? Basically, the answer to that is yes, there are always going to be enough deals to go around. If you are out there and you are marketing consistently and you are making offers consistently, you're going to get deals. OK, uh, I am in the one I am in one of the um, probably most competitive markets out there in the Tampa uh, Tampa St. Pete area, there are a ton of wholesalers around, um, but it doesn't matter. There are still plenty of deals to go around and instead of looking at uh, the other wholesalers as a, uh, a liability to you, you can um, look at that as, as being an asset. Um, I have over the years made thousands upon thousands of dollars working with other wholesalers, uh, working with other wholesalers, whether that be me finding a buyer for one of their deals or vice versa. Uh, I've made lots of money that way. It's actually a very easy way to make money. So, um, you know, don't worry about being in a competitive market. Like I said, I'm in a extremely competitive market and there are plenty of deals to go around. There always have been, there always will be. Um, the second uh, concern that she brought up is about the, um, she said she's heard in the news, maybe you guys have read this or heard uh, people talking about another housing bubble and possibly another crash coming. Um, is that going to happen? I don't know. Uh, I will say that right now um, things are kind of reminiscent of the way they were uh, with respect to the housing market um, before the last crash. People are paying, you know, kind of crazy prices. Prices are going up and up and up. I read somewhere, um, I forget what uh, website, I think it was Forbes.com that said that in a couple of the market, two markets in particular, I think it was Dallas and Denver, that the uh, medium, median home prices have now surpassed what they were at the last peak. Um, but regardless of all of that, uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, you can make money as a wholesaler, whether the market is up, down, or sideways. And in fact, I got into, whole, when I got into wholesaling was, uh, I did my first two deals, I think, or three deals at the end of 2006, and then really started gaining traction in 2007, late 2007, and that is when um, all hell basically broke loose in Tampa. Tampa was one of the hardest hit markets by the uh, foreclosure crisis. We had thousands upon thousands of foreclosures, and people were still buying, and I made a whole lot of money, um, despite the fact that 
you know, all over the news, people were saying how horrible the, the housing market was and people were running away and, and a lot of people wouldn't touch real estate with a 10 foot pole. Um, I made a ton of money during that time period and so did a lot of other people. So, um, you know, as a wholesaler, like I said, you can make money whether the market is up, down or sideways. So don't let that uh, scare you either. And then finally, um, let's see. Uh, she asks if she can, if you can really complete a wholesale deal using very small earnest money deposit. Um, she's living paycheck, paycheck to paycheck, and she doesn't have a lot of cash to work with. Uh, again, speaking from personal experience here, you guys have probably heard my story before. When I first got started, I was bartending. I was pretty much broke all the time, and I still made it happen. My first wholesale deal, I think I put $5. Uh, it was a private seller deal. I put, I think, $5. It was either $5 or 10 bucks, something like that. Um, but it can definitely be done. Um, now, if you're going to be going after bank-owned properties, you're going to need a larger deposit. So if you don't have any cash to work with right now, you might consider going after private sellers where you can usually get away with a very small um, earnest money deposit. Not always, but you usually can. So um, yes, it can definitely be done even if you are uh, in the same situation that I was when I was just getting started and that is uh, broke. So um, you know, don't let all of these um, what-ifs keep you from getting started, it can be done. Um, you know, you can, one deal can change your life. I remember getting my, I've talked about this before too, my very first wholesale transaction I made, it wasn't a big deal, it was $2,000, but that was life changing for me. Um, getting, seeing that I could make two grand, which I don't think I was even making in a month, uh, bartending. Actually, I was not making $2,000 in a month bartending, but seeing that I could make a $2,000 check for putting in, I don't know, I probably had five or six hours into that first wholesale transaction and it closed in a couple of weeks. Um, that was life changing for me. And I just went out there and kept closing deal after deal after deal. So, um, you know, stop thinking about what ifs, stop making excuses and get out there, uh, start taking action and get out there and start making some money. It can definitely be done, but you've got to got to get your head straight first and you can't just sit there and think about, I know it's hard because it's scary when you're just getting started and you don't know exactly what you're doing, but you have to get your head straight. You have to, um, you know, try and have as much confidence in yourself as you can and know that uh, this stuff does work. Um, you've seen it. You've seen videos like mine. You've seen probably or listened to interviews of people, success stories that have people who have closed their first deal and gone on to quit their jobs. And um, it, it can be life changing, but you've got to uh, put your get out there and put the rubber to the road. Um, so uh, I hope that helps. Hope that answered um, some of your questions and put some of your fears to um, to rest, Allison. And if anyone would like to add anything to this, you can leave a comment below here on my blog. If you're watching this. Uh, video on YouTube. I do have comments disabled, um, but you can comment. Go over to my blog, blog flipthiswholesaler.net, and leave a comment there. Uh, that's all I've got for today. I will see you guys next time. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.